Hi everyone, my name is Moni. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today we're going to be playing through an expansion for a game that is currently on Kickstarter called Hamlet by the Lake. Yes, Hamlet originally came out last year in 2022, and today we are going to be playing with the expansion. It is designed by David Shirkop as well as Jonathan Harrington and published by Mighty Boards who are helping sponsor this playthrough. And in this game, we are going to be working on building out a village and working together technically <laughs> but competing over the same resources because only one person is going to win in the end. That's right. And so if you're familiar with the base game, this expansion adds new content in the form of lake tiles. Mm -hmm. So now whenever there are gaps in the village structure, you fill them with lakes, right. as well as fishing and boats. Now, if you've never played the base game before, we're going to first start with a quick overview of how the base game is played and then go into detail about the expansion. And then, of course, go into our two-player playthrough. If you'd like to jump around, we'll include timestamps in the description below. Now, we do need to clarify the base game is a retail copy. That's what we're going to be playing with. But mm -hmm. some of the components in the um, expansion are prototype. So things are subject to change in the future. If you are interested in this campaign, there will be a link in the description, which you can check out at your leisure. And of course, lastly, if you like these kind of videos and you want to see more in the future, please consider subscribing. And with that, we are ready to begin. So if you please direct your attention to the center of the table, we're all set up here for our two player game of Hamlet, including the new expansion, Hamlet by the Lake. The lake. Welcome. So you can't see the lake yet, but you will see it eventually. <laughs> yes. Now, like we were mentioning earlier, Hamlet is a village building game. So if you've never played this game before, this is the main village that we are both going to be cooperatively building upon, mm -hmm. although it is a competitive game. Over the course of the game, we're going to have the opportunity to build out additional tiles, which will make this Hamlet grow, mm -hmm. as well as build out the church, which is in the very center. And so in the original game of Hamlet, this was actually the main uh, game ending condition. Our goal was to ultimately just build out all six pieces of the church, mm -hmm. and then uh, that would trigger the end of the game, and then we'd see who wins after that. Right. But with this new expansion, there's actually an additional end game trigger. And so we'll be discussing the expansion later. Feel free to jump directly to those rules. Now, the way that the base game works, is each player starts the game with one villager each as well as one donkey each mm -hmm. that all start in this center tile. We're basically just going to be taking turns going back and forth, activating our workers and having them run around to the various tiles, activating them and building out more tiles until the end of the game has been triggered. Mm -hmm. Now, over the course of the game, we're going to be able to gain more villagers and more donkeys. And so on your turn, you're going to be able to activate all of your villagers and move all of your donkeys once mm -hmm. in the order of your choosing. Donkeys are primarily used for transporting goods. So we'll talk about them a little bit later. And so for villagers, the way that they work is you're going to move them to a tile and you're going to take an action there. Now, if you look closely at the tiles, all of them are actually connected by this main path that goes through all of the tiles at the start of the game. Mm -hmm. So when you're moving your villagers, the villagers can move to any tile that's connected via these paths and then take an action there essentially. So let's just say on my turn, I wanted to move my villager to the woodcutter. Now, when you go to a tile, there are three different types of actions that you can take. At the start of the game, three of our starting tiles produce raw resources, and they are wood, stone, and wheat. And so when you activate any of these tiles, you're just going to be producing resources in empty spots. So there are always three available spaces. As you can see, two of them are filled. So if I wanted to go here and produce resources, I would just fill that last spot. And then really kind of tiny here in blue, it tells you the award or the benefit that you get for doing that. So in this case, it's going to be two coins. Early in the game, this is going to be our main way of gaining more income because you're going to need gold in order to uh, acquire additional tiles, gain more villagers, and gain more donkeys. And if the tile is already filled, then you cannot take this action there. The next type of tile that we have here is the market. And here you can sell goods for a combination of money as well as victory points. Some of the tiles uh, require raw materials like what we have already on the board, and some of them require refined materials, which we'll talk about later. Now, anytime you need to turn in materials, whether it's for selling at the market or for building out uh, the church, or maybe even building out additional tiles, you always need to transport materials from the board. We are not ever going to acquire materials into our own personal supply. They're always going to be shared on the board. And in order to use them, you need to be able to transport them directly to the tile where your villager is so that the villager can consume them. So as an example, if I wanted to sell to this tile, this tile requires two wood as well as one wheat, I would need to be able to transport two of these cubes all the way to this tile and one of those cubes here as well. Mm -hmm. In this game, the Hamlet has a very strong uh, transportation system for these goods. And so the way that it works is each good 
can always move one tile adjacent for free as long as it's connected by path. Mm -hmm. So default, I can move both of these cubes to the middle tile here for free. If I need to move these goods additional spaces, I need to have a donkey here, which I do. So me having a donkey here would allow me to move them to one more adjacent space connected by a road. So I can move them into this space. And same goes for the wheat, because the wheat is connected via this path, I can move it once for free, and then my donkey will move it over to this tile for me to consume all three cubes and gain my uh, resources for that tile. Mm -hmm. That is probably the most basic example of how the transportation system works. Um, the larger the hamlet will get, the more donkeys you will need in order to sort of chain. And so we'll see that more and more uh, as we see the playthrough. Mm -hmm. The other thing that you can do at the market is you can make what's called a free market purchase. And so that's what this is here in the middle. Now, it's not actually an action at the market. You do not have to have a villager here to take that benefit. This will basically allow you to purchase materials uh, when you don't have them available to you. Mm -hmm. So you can purchase raw materials at the cost of three coins and uh, refined materials at the cost of five coins, but you cannot purchase these materials to sell at the market. And by the way, we are playing the one to two player side of this tile. And so um, that is why our prices are that way. When purchasing materials this way, you still have to be able to transport them theoretically <laughs> to the tile where it's going to be consumed, but you never take any physical materials for this. You're just paying the money to be consumed in that moment. Mm -hmm. And acquiring additional tiles requires you to go to the town hall, which is the last of the uh, starting tiles. Here, you can acquire one of the blueprints available from the display. And so the leftmost one, which is going to be this one in our game, is free. And as you go further to the right, it's going to cost one more coin. Mm -hmm. When you acquire a blueprint, it's going to go uh, in front of you in your blueprint supply. Blueprints first have to be acquired and then constructed at a later time in order to be added to the Hamlet. So each player can hold a maximum of three at any given time. Mm -hmm. Now, if I wanted to acquire any of the ones that cost gold, I would have to pay uh, the gold to the unclaimed tiles that are to the left. So if I wanted this one that cost one gold, I would put my one gold oops, <laughs> there before taking it. So that now in the future, when somebody takes that one, they'll gain additional money. Right. Now there are a wide variety of tiles that we're going to be seeing throughout the game. So we're not going to go into detail about them now. Just so you know, there are two main types in the base game that you're looking out for. One of which are tiles that have a flag symbol. And these tiles are going to grant whoever constructs them some sort of end game scoring condition, as long as you're able to connect it to the rest of the Hamlet. And the other type are these refineries. And in addition to acquiring one tile or one blueprint, you can also uh, hire as many workers as you're able to. So we can have at max uh, four villagers. Our second villager is going to cost five gold. The third one to hire is seven gold and the fourth one is nine. Mm -hmm. And each donkey you'd like to hire costs three gold each. And that's essentially it in terms of the starting buildings that we're going to be activating. The rest of the buildings we'll talk about as we play the playthrough. Now, the next type of action that you can take instead of activating the tile is you can construct additional buildings adjacent to the tile where your villager is. And so let's just say I had this sawmill uh, refinery in my blueprint supply. Mm -hmm. As my action, I would construct the sawmill adjacent to uh, this tile. And so when constructing, there is a construction cost that's on the tile itself. And in this case, it's going to be two wheat and one stone, which I have to be able to transport to the tile that I'm on, by mm -hmm. the way. And then when placing these tiles, there are some placement rules. Uh, along the border, you'll see forests, you'll see mountains, which are these like stone edge, and you'll also see paths. So paths must always connect to paths, mm -hmm. just like this. But forests and mountains can be mix and matched. The only thing is uh, over the course of the game, you might want to build out roads and you can only build roads along like type edges. So for this, I would probably want to connect the road because sure. at the end of the game, there's also a longest road scoring condition, which we'll talk about in a second. Now in this game, we also have milestones and awards. Awards are points awarded to a player who did the best at something at the end of the game. Milestones, however, are given to the player who was the first to do something. So if I was the first person to build uh, a refinery, I would get this one, the mm -hmm. carpenter milestone, because I was the one who built the first uh, wood refinery. Now, whenever I refine wood, all of my wood is going to be of high quality. So the way that refining goods works is similar to everything else. You have to go uh, on the tile itself and activate it, and you have to be able to transport the raw material that is needed to that tile. 
And then when you actually uh, refine the good, each player has their own uh, player components that represent all of the different types of refined materials. And so if I were to refine wood, I would take my refined material uh, black side up token and place it there. Mm -hmm. And that is going to represent a piece of refined wood, or I think it's timber, yep. that any player can use. And so there's going to be a benefit listed on the tile itself that the player who made it gets whenever somebody consumes it, including right. myself. Right. But since I am the carpenter, all of my uh, timber is actually high quality. So I'm going to do the, I'm going to put it with the white side up, which means as soon as this is consumed, I get double the rewards listed. Right. These flag tiles, um, a majority of them do not have paths connected to them. So when you build them, you're going to have to build them along a tile. You're basically going to have to make out the hamlet, so, something similar to this. Mm -hmm. But there's still a construction cost as well as a benefit for building it. Uh, the thing is, when you build the ones that have flags, you're going to place one of your own flag markers on there to indicate that it's yours for endgame scoring. But like I was mentioning earlier, a majority of them require you to connect it to the rest of the hamlet via a road. Um, this is an example of an exception because it specifically says on the tile, no road required. But uh, the last type of action that you can take with a villager is building out a road adjacent to wherever your villager is. So if on my turn, I move my villager here and I had this placed here, then I would be able to construct a road along this path because it is two uh, mountain ranges touching. Mm -hmm. If you are building a road connecting two mountain ranges, then you have to pay two wood. If it's two uh, forest edges, then it's two stone. So and again, all of those materials must be consumed from the board. Yeah, so they're inverse. Yeah. And this is represented by our own personal uh, roads, just like that. These are going to score us one point at the end of the game. Mm -hmm. And also, at the end of the game, you're going to count all the tiles in your longest uh, continuous line that has at least one of your own roads that is not crossing the church. And each of the tiles in that longest road will score you two points. And so those are all the different types of actions that you can take with your villager specifically. Now, had you hired additional villagers by going to the town hall, then you would be able to activate all of your villagers once. And also on your turn, one time you can move all of your donkeys that are on the board adjacent one space. Right. Now, in the original game, as soon as the church has been fully constructed, that actually signals the last round. And so you finish out the round so that everybody has had the equal number of turns. And then you go into endgame scoring. And at that point, you basically hand out all of the awards, scoring points for them. You score points for all of the flag landmark tiles, the bridges, as well as the longest road. And each player also gets one point for every three gold. And at that point, that would be the end of the game. But now, with this new uh, Hamlet by the Lake expansion, it's a little bit different. This expansion adds lakes. Mm -hmm. And so now, whenever you build out tiles that form an enclosed uh, area, so let's just, let's try to make... Let's, let's make one. Let's make something. Okay, yeah. let's do this. This is not something I would probably do in-game. <laughs> but let's just say I built out this, and now we have a completely enclosed area here. This would form a lake. So the expansion comes with these uh, triangular lake tiles that you would use to completely fill uh, all the lake spaces, just like that. Mm -hmm. And so any lake tiles that are adjacent to a building tile also gain fish tokens because you can go fishing in this game. And so the player who constructed the lake also scores one point for every two lake tiles rounded down. So I would score one point for making this. Mm -hmm. And as new villager action, I can take all of the fish tokens that are uh, adjacent to the tile that my villager is on. So if I were there, I could take these two fish tokens. Yes. Now, whenever you take fish from the board, you're actually going to pull that many fish tiles from the little bag that the game comes with. You're going fishing. You're going fishing. And these fish tiles are going to be of one of three colors. There's green, blue, and pink. And these are going to correspond to the three cards that you're going to use uh, during the game. And so each game is different because there are four seasons you're always going to have this card that allows you to sell your fish for two coins. Uh, and this is going to be the most abundant fish that's in the bag. Mm -hmm. The other two cards are going to be dependent on the season. And so for our game, we're going to be playing with the spring cards, which means I can turn in blue fish for either one coin, or if I have two or more donkeys, I can gain another donkey for free without using a worker. Nice. That's really nice. And the pink fish, uh, I have good hair day here. It says one of your workers may do two actions this turn. So there's a lot more in terms of strategy, um, but you can only hold three fish max from turn to turn. 
So it's best for you to spend them really. Mm -hmm. And you can only spend at most one of each type of fish per turn. Right. So if I pulled two green fish, I'd only be able to sell them uh, once this turn. Right. Now, if you were able to construct a lake that was a minimum size of two tiles, you have the option of building a boat in that lake. And if you do, you place one of your flag tokens on it, indicate that it's yours. And so boats actually uh, act as donkeys for transporting both materials as well as villagers across this lake. If you're moving a villager across the lake, then it would act as a bridge, essentially. But if you're using it to transport materials, then it would act exactly like a donkey. But you're putting your flag in there because it is only for you to use. Now, the last thing about the new expansion is, of course, it comes with new tiles. Mm -hmm. And so these tiles are going to be added to the different uh, sections, I guess, of tiles, stacks. stacks that will be added to the bag as soon as refineries are built. That's something I forgot to mention <laughs> <laughs> earlier. But uh, the new tiles have lake uh, sides to them. And so this is a new type of uh, side terrain. Mm -hmm. Now, the rules for placing these is that uh, the lake tiles can only be adjacent to other lake terrain or adjacent to an empty space. So you could you could do something like that if you are able to legally do that. Mm -hmm. That's right. Because <laughs> that's not really legal. And so we'll talk about these as we play the game. And the last thing is there is a new end game trigger. So just like in the original game, the game still ends if the church is completely built. But also, if a player puts out their final flag on a building or a boat, then that also triggers the end of the game. You would finish out the round uh, as per normal, and then you go into end game scoring. And that's essentially it, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, that was a lot. <laughs> Anything yeah. we missed, we'll be covering as we play the game. And of course, if you have any questions, there's also a link to the Kickstarter down below that details all of these things. So we'll just get cleaned up, and then we'll get started with our playthrough. Okay, we have reset the board. We are ready to go. We just have to figure out who's going to go first because this has money consequences. <laughs> right. What do you right. want? Odds uh, or evens? Evens. One, two, three. Evens. It is two. I. Which means I get less money. Yes. You only get three gold, oh. whereas I get four. four. <laughs> so much more. I'm winning. I'm winning. Okay. okay. So uh, we fully reset. We have our starting uh, tiles, just like in the base game. We do. And you are going to be the first player. I don't think we have any of the new expansion tiles out yet, but we will uh, call them out as they come out. Mm -hmm. And if you did not join us for the teach, we are playing with the Hamlet by the Lake expansion. And so we are playing with spring in terms of our fishing tiles. Right. We're definitely going to be fishing in this game. We'll talk about them as we acquire fish. Yeah, okay. All right, Naveen, whenever you're ready. All right, first action. I away. know I want to make some cash because cash is how you get more workers. Yes. So. Um, I could technically go here to the market and sell, mm -hmm. but I think I want to go and refill uh, resources right now. So I'm going to go ahead and move myself into the quarry. Okay. So I'm going to stand myself up. That's the free movement action. I'm not going to move my donkey. I'm just going to keep my donkey there. <laughs> and then I'm going to take the action that is here. I'm going to lay down and then I'm going to refill completely the quarry. So now I get two coins two for doing coins. that action. There you go. And that's it, because you said you're not going to move your donkey. Right. All right, so that goes to me. I'm going to stand myself up. I'm actually going to do a very similar move. I'm going to move over here. I debated selling at the market as well, because here you can start getting a point at least. Right. But since it, my next worker is going to require me to spend five gold, I would like to potentially get a sawmill, which is one gold. Mm. So I'm going to go over there and refill the wood. That's going to gain me uh, two, two points, gold. Yeah. All right. There's my gold, and I'm done. So it goes back to you. I'm leaving my donkey <laughs> where they are. Also leave the donkey. Yeah. Okay. I think uh, I think I want to go hire somebody right now. So I'm going to bring my worker. They're going to yeah. stand back up. I'm not going to move the donkey, so I'm going to bring it over into the town hall. We'll just mention if we're going to move our donkeys. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's probably going to be a while. Yeah. So I know I said I have five money, and I was going to try to hire somebody, mm -hmm. uh, another villager. But mm -hmm. I think uh, I'm going to take the sawmill. <gasps> which is in the section one there. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to have to put a coin <laughs> on that, uh, that section there. Wow, I feel robbed. And this is now my blueprint yes. for the future. So that's one of three one of that you three. can have. So we're going to draw. So the way that the game works is we have a bag. Um, the way that we do it is we just randomize it off screen. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to pull the new tile that will refill here. Right. We have the small woodland. woodland. So this is a, a landmark tile, and it's going to be one point per segment connected to forests, and you don't need a road okay. to score that. So it's very similar to this one over yes, here. Yes, okay. very similar. 
And then, uh, because I don't have enough to hire another villager, I'm going to go ahead and spend three to get another donkey. Donkeys will be very important in the future. Yes. So why not be. do it now? And so I'm you gonna, can place a donkey anywhere, anywhere? that's connected so, to the hamlet. I think I want to put it on the market here. Uh, I see what you're doing. Yeah, because I have the sawmill that can possibly go there. All right, so that's going to be me. All right, so now it goes back to me. So turns are very quick, especially earlier in the game, and we only have one <laughs> villager each. Mm -hmm. Is this a refinery? Yeah, it's uh, the mill, the flower oh, mill. Oh, I didn't, re I didn't realize. Oh, I think I was so used to seeing this shape. <laughs> I yeah. didn't realize we had another one out. Yeah, all the tiles are awkward shapes. Yeah. yeah. Well, they're just different shapes that we can build out, you know, a unique, unique shape hamlet. Okay, so I'm going to stay with my original plan then. I'm going to go to the town hall and I will take the flower mill. Okay. So. Uh, it's going to cost me one coin. That mountain range is looking really sweet. Mm -hmm. And now I have my first blueprint. Gotcha. Uh, these will go down, and we're going to refill with another tile. Okay, we have a stonemason. Wow. Okay, so we have another refinery. This is for a stone. And then, with the rest of my money, I'm going to hire another villager. Second worker. So, second worker. It's going to cost me five gold. So that worker cannot be used in this round, but no. in the very next turn, she'll have two. Yes. So, so they I get need laid to get that going. There. And that is it for me. All right. I'm in that situation where I have very little money. I know you also <laughs> don't. So I think I'm going to go and head on over to the farm with my one worker. I'm going to refill that wheat. Okay. Uh, and then get two coins in the process of doing so. There you go. Got to make money. It's definitely yeah. um, a sort of ebb, ebb and flow. Yep. Is that the phrase? Ebb and flow? Why not? Yeah. <laughs> I think beginning. it is. You gain money, you spend your money. It's it's kind of like that. Like uh, life. Game. All right. And that's me. I need to get another worker. All right. Back to me. I now have two workers. So I think... I think it's a good time to sell at the market, mm -hmm. right? Because there are a couple of tiles in the beginning. The way that this is stacked is uh, by number. So the earlier tiles are going to require just raw materials. As you go further down the stack, it's a little bit more difficult to sell. Yep. So I'm going to use this as an opportunity to sell the easier ones. This one requires two wood and one wheat. wheat yep. And my donkey is still here. So they're both going to be uh, transported. So free move into the free space. Free move in. Donkey move here. Yep. And same thing with the wheat. Free in, move in. Donkey move here. So I have all I need for this tile. So these will go away. And then this tile grants me one point and one coin. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is an award at the end of the game for the person who sells the most at the market. They get four points. So that's nice. So I'm going to take this. And then this gets refilled. So now this requires a uh, ref is that it looks like refined wheat. Refined wheat, yes. And this person is done taking their action, actually. So for my second, or with my second villager, I will do the same for this tile. So this requires two stone. So same thing. These move in here. Donkey moves there. And then the wheat, mm. same thing. So these were all consumed. Pretty good for you. And I will get, same thing, one point and one coin. So that's me. All right. Mm. Back to you. I don't like that, but... Oh, wait. I take Let's this. See. What do you, oh, yeah, there you go. And then we're going to refill this. And this requires two, two different refined materials. Okay. So we're not in the refining stage not yet. Uh, quite yet. Okay, wow. Uh, so I need to get that extra worker. I think there's a way. So I'm going to stand myself up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to come right back over to the town hall. And the blueprint I'm going to take is the one that has nice cash on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that one right there. So I'll take this. You took my money. I totally my forgot money, that yeah. I... Left that so now I picked up this mountain range, uh, which will be pretty nice. And so I'm going to hang out with this one. This one says you get one point per segment connected to mountains. No roads are required. So this is all mountainous. If I was to connect it somewhere here, mm -hmm. then I'll be worth one. And if I can continue to connect mountains, yeah. that would be worth uh, one point each. And it's all at the end of the game. At the so end of the game, the yeah. Green has all game to, uh, to do that. To connecting. figure out when I'm going to do that. Now, uh, oh. let's go ahead and refill. Yep. Okay. What are we going to get? We are going to get a, oh, one of these. A pond. A pond. So this is a, a landmark, three points, if connected by a bridge. So this one you do have to connect gotcha. to the rest of the hamlet. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Okay, so then I'm going to continue on. And now that I do have five coins, mm -hmm. I'm going to spend all of them to get my second villager. Nice. And then they're going to go ahead and sleep inside the blueprints of the church. <laughs> Congrats. There we go. And then that's going to be it for me. I'm still not moving donkeys. Back to you. Okay, uh, well, what does it require? In order for me to build up my flour mill, the construction cost says I need two stone and two wood. I spent, spent it all. It. 
all right, it is time to refill. I think I will just, oh my gosh, am I going to be refilling for you? That's oh, how, I guess you need me. That's how it works. That is how it works. That's how I'm it gonna works. I'm going to go here and refill the stone. So there is that. Sorry. I'm a bit of a mess. Mm. There you go. I laid myself down and I get two gold for that. And then okay. I'm just going to do the same uh, with the wood. The wood. So. You get your two wood here and you. you're going to get two coins for doing such. Two coins. Okay. Mm. Those are both of my workers. So now it's back to you. And now we have equal number of workers. We do. All right. I need some cash. So I think there's a couple things we need to do. So mm -hmm. I'm going to send this worker over to the farm. We're going to refill that with okay. two wheat. Two wheat. And then two coins for me, please. Two gold. Oh, wait. Uh, ooh, too that. much. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to send this worker away from the town hall and move him over to the market. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to build the sawmill, which ah, is our first refinery. That's right. Um, so let's see how I can do this uh, neatly. So <laughs> the costs are going to be two wheat. So the things I just uh, I just uh, filled. filled and one um, rock or stone from the quarry. OK, so I do have the pathways and I'll kind of demonstrate that. Let me just lay this out right here because paths need to connect to paths. So, yeah. So now now that we're playing with this expansion, you're kind of thinking, about what lakes you might want to form potentially potentially so i'm just going to go with this configuration so okay. like i said two wheat so i have donkey here mm -hmm. donkey here yeah into here well no you actually just have to send it to where your villager is uh, correct so. yeah so these resources are actually going to the villager to then construct this out here so the villager is taking on the two wheat uh -huh. and the one stone was it is what i said yeah um, and then that's gonna he's now gonna create this over mm -hmm. here so that is now made, which okay. is good. So I'm going to get some benefits, I think. Um, I get four points, please. Oh, that's nice. And then now I am the, I believe I'm the carpenter. You are. Yes. yes. I'm the first refinery, uh, the sawmill. So that's right. I am now a carpenter. So all my wood, my timber mm -hmm. becomes of the highest quality. Highest quality. Mm -hmm. We're also going to add these new tiles to the bag. Right. So it's going to be the four uh, tiles that came with the base game and then one that is with the expansion. expansion right. so. Okay. All right. And this worker is done with their duties. Very good. Uh, this is nice because you can now uh, build or you can now refine wood, mm -hmm. but too bad I don't have another donkey. Yes. If I wanted to refine here, I would need another one here in order to bring the wood all the way from here to this tile. Mm -hmm. It's quite far now. All right. We have built our first refinery, which is a good thing because now you can kind of start getting the gears turning a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So back to me, I'm going to go ahead and stand these two up. Uh, the options are becoming wider and wider for things that you can do. Yep. So one of the church pieces requires you to just turn in 10 of the raw materials. And so really, if we can ever find a way for us to have this fully maxed, you can just purchase the last one. For three. For yeah. three. Mm -hmm. And get six points. Yeah. yeah. So that's an option. But I think, I think I'm going to build my flour mill because okay. I'm kind of at a nice location here. And I think I could build out a lake. A, a nice uh, small Are you gonna show off the expansion <laughs> small, right now. Yeah, I guess so. It'll be a small lake, right. but a cute lake, I guess. Okay. So my flour mill requires me to spend. Uh, where is it? It's this right one. Yeah. Two stone and one wood. So you have so, two stone. Yeah. And one wood. I only have one donkey. This donkey is working hard. The donkey's <laughs> doing well. I'm here. I'm going to build. I think I can do it. Like this. So which 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 villager are you going to be doing this? This one. Okay. This villager can connect this way. Okay. I think because this is at least one uh, forest to forest edge that I could possibly build right. a path along. And you did not block off one of these paths. These paths yes. could not go into the mountains. Could not go into the forest right. legally. Paths must connect to paths. Right. So uh, I only have to bring the materials to this tile. Okay. Which means the two, two stone, stone can go boom boom yep. and then one wood it's already there right so these all get consumed well, and then go. i get four points so four i go points, to yeah. six as well as the uh the miller the miller you're now the miller nice so all of the the wheat all your wheat is of high quality nice there all the go. flour <laughs> yeah. okay uh we also add more tiles to the bag all right, these five tiles okay. are going in. Again, one uh, expansion tile yes. is amongst these. All right, and now we're going to build the lake. Right. So this is a two-tile lake. Two tiles, yeah. Right? Uh, just like that, which means I'm going to score one point because it's one point for every two tiles right. in the lake. So. And this is the one that did this action. So he's now sleeping, right? Yes. We also get some fish. Two fishies. So 
uh, they're always the, the tiles that are touching the building tiles. Mm -hmm. And since this is a minimum two tile lake, I have the option of building a boat for free, which I will do. Yeah. This is the only time you could build a boat. If you decide not to, you cannot choose to build a boat at a later date. So I would like to do this because... Um, you want I don't access know. to your flour mill. I only have one donkey. That I makes don't total know sense. how difficult it's going to be to transport goods in the future. So I'm just going to put my flag here. The boats are all prototype, right. so you know. So we don't know what the final uh, materials are going to look like. And since I built this refinery, we might as well use it, right? Mm -hmm. I was thinking about fishing, but I would only be able to collect one fish with one action, which is uh, not as good, I think, as <laughs> as using my mill. Sure. So since I have a boat here, I can just walk across this lake as if it's a uh, a path. Yeah. So she didn't technically need to go into this church spot. She could have just crossed over this diagonal. That's uh, true. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And only I can use this boat. Correct. So unfortunately for Naveen. Naveen I can will access... not be dealing with the flower. Well, you can all. access this if you build a path here. It's a long way. Yeah. <laughs> we kind of divided the board. Reds versus blues. <laughs> Just for now. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to uh, activate this building and refine this last wheat. Look at you. So I have to move it there. Mm. Um, so it moves one for free. And then my donkey will move it onto the boat, which will move it over here. Yikes. And so I'm going to go ahead and make high quality. Since I'm the miller, mm -hmm. I will make high quality flour, I guess. Yep. I'll place that there, and this gets used. Now, I don't get any benefits for this until I actually consume or somebody consumes that that material. Right. And at that point, I would get uh, twice that, actually, since it's high quality. Two and two, yeah. But that's it for me. So now it's back to you. All right, I think I have a pretty straightforward turn here, so mm -hmm. we're going to wake everybody up. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to send this particular individual into my sawmill. Okay. And then I think I am going to uh, refine some wood into high-quality timber. Yes. So this gets a free move into uh -huh. here. I have a donkey that goes into donkey, which then goes <laughs> into this section here. They're so helpful. So, yeah, which is now going to get me that high-quality refine so the white side up uh -huh. timber that's nice. gonna go right onto that spot right there very good so this particular individual has already worked and then now i am going to send this to the market where this one is sitting mm -hmm. and let's go ahead and send this quality ingredient all the way back here and i'm going to satisfy this particular one right there so i'm going to get two different benefits let's get the benefits for removing the timber consuming it here. consuming it there so because it's high quality i yeah. get double of all the rewards so i get not one point, but two points okay. and two coins. Okay, there you go. And then? And then because I'm satisfying this particular uh, market order, yeah. I'm going to get another point and another two coins. Uh, one point and two coins. Yes. There you go. Money. That's nice. Money. All really right. nice. There we go. All right, so we have a new uh, order here that requires something that we don't have yet. It's, we don't have uh, the refinery for that. Timber, wood, but also uh, milk, it looks like. Yeah, we don't have that one. We have the refinery for stone, by mm -hmm. the way. Just casually ignoring it. <laughs> okay, done? Yep. So then it is back to me, and I'm thinking about doing something similar. I'm going to move one of my villagers to the market and deliver my refined flour over here because this is an order that requires it. So go. it's going to go on to my boat, over here to my donkey, and then over here. And now I will also get twice two and two. this reward. So it's two points, two coins. Same exact rewards that I just got. Yeah. yeah. Two points, two coins, and then one point uh, and two coins for the actual order. Right. And then we'll get a new one. This is the last one. And that's that. So this goes back to my own... Uh, my own supply okay and for my second worker let's see how much money do i have i have 10 coins okay. <laughs> ah the decisions this church oh no this one this one requires, requires 10, 10 coins, coins for six points for six points but i'll have no no money and uh, i really want to hire another person i think i'm just gonna go to the town hall and hire let's see i'm gonna take the trade post okay first for free because I don't have any blueprints in my personal uh, supply. So okay. we do need another tile. And we have the warehouse. This mm. is one point per bridge slash path. Okay. So there's that. Uh, and by the way, I have the trade post that says one point per market delivery, which is nice because I've been delivering uh, some stuff there. You have. Then I'm going to hire my third villager for seven coins. So one, two, three. I'm actually going to hire the third villager and a donkey. So it's okay. going to be all of my my gold anyway. So 10, 
So I'm going to place my villager at the church and then a donkey anywhere. I might as well put them here, right? Oh, whoa. I, well, I'm approaching. <laughs> it's because I don't need a donkey over here. No, you don't. This is the only other place I would need one. Uh oh. And that's it. Those are all of my actions. So now it goes back uh, to you. Okay. So I definitely don't want to be left behind. I definitely want a third worker. Uh -huh. So uh, I think I have to do, I think I have to fill in. So let's go ahead and stand up my two workers. Mm -hmm. This one is going to come all the way over to the quarry. I'm going to fill in the quarry. Uh, three stone are going to go in there. And then two coins for me, please. Two coins. Perfect. One, two. Sorry, I knocked off your boat flag. <gasps> I apologize. How dare you? Um, and then, and then right. this one. Over, yeah, there you go. <laughs> and then this one over here is going to come on over into this spot here. I'm going to take a blueprint. Okay. Um, I am a cheapie. Yes. So let's see. <laughs> you don't one, want the two, refinery? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What is that refinery? This is the stonemason. It is the stonemason. You would be it? both, you would have two of these milestones. You would be a mason, you know what I mean? You'd have another title. I would. <laughs> you know, I like that. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Dad Gummit, you're right. I'll take it. So <laughs> I'll, so this is one right here, okay. a blueprint. So then now I have exactly one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I will get myself another worker. So all my money goes bye bye. Nice. And then now we go to a sleep in the church to wake up tomorrow. Very good. There we go. And now we have the tavern. So mm. this is another landmark one point per coin, maximum eight. Okay. So this will go right there. All right. That is me. It's back to you. Okay. So three well, workers now. Go ahead and stand up. Yeah. Three okay. workers. Oh, yeah. Thank you. First, <laughs> let me just the all important fix flag. My, pl my flag. Just don't don't touch it <laughs> yeah. anymore. I don't need to go over there. Yeah. I think I would like to deliver to the church. Okay. So I'm gonna go here and refill that. If you don't Ooh. mind refilling the farm for me, what please. What are you doing? <laughs> I get two coins. Whoa, whoa. What? I know exactly what you're doing. So those, and then I'm going to go over here and refill the wood. Okay. Please. That's going to be for another two coins. Um, and then I think I'm just going to go, well, I'm already here at the church. So I'm going to deliver uh, this piece. So ten, it's 10 resources. 10 raw materials. Whoa. So we have three, six, nine, which means, oh, I don't have enough money. Oh, no, I do. Three. I do. Yeah, it's three. Yeah. Okay, I can do this. So they all have to be delivered uh, to the church, which is fine because right. they're all adjacent. So three, six, Yikes. nine, and then I have to buy uh, with a free market action, I think it's yeah. called. A, a another... hypothetical base, base yes. resource. doesn't matter which one. I'm just going to pay three gold, basically, and it is able It'll to shuttle be... shuttle in. Yeah. yeah, shuttled into the church. Ah. So that is the tenth raw you material. You just did that. These are all going to go out. So now... Uh, we need to get to work to make more materials, right? So I've contributed to the church. I'm going to place my marker there to show that it was me. And I get six points. Six, so six. I go to 16. Ooh. This is important, by the way, because there's an award that goes to the person who who did the most deliveries. Mm -hmm. There's most deliveries and second most. So there's that. And then I get to actually place a piece. Let's go with the middle piece. I think it's like this, right? This is kind of how I, I always Envision. envisioned it to be. <laughs> yeah. Like that. yeah, there you go. I think those were all all of my, <sighs> my villagers, right? That uh, looked good, yeah. Okay, it's the end of my turn. Whoa, whoa. Okay, so I'm going to stand myself up. One, uh, two, and three. Mm -hmm. Let's go fishing. <gasps> I'm going to fish. fish. Yeah, well, you left me with nothing, so I, <laughs> <laughs> I will fish. So this individual here yeah. is next to this pond or this lake. Oh, I'm sorry, your flag. Yeah. Okay, I'll just leave the flag right there. We're going to fish for this one, so I'm going to grab this. Yeah, so it's one action, one action. per uh, tile that you're on. Right. So one tile can take all of the fish that are adjacent to it. Right. So. So I get to draw from the bag. There you go. All right, perfect. Let's see what we got. Fish bag. Give me something good. What is it? Green, the all season. It's the common fish. The common you two can coins. Sell it for two coins. I will sell it for two coins. Now? Yep. Okay, Might so this well. goes back in the bag. Back in the bag. Uh, again, once, one of each type of fish per turn. Mm -hmm. You can sell slash cook, I think is the, the theme. Right. So here is your money. My cash. Ola. There you go. I am going to fill this one with this particular person. So I'm going to get another two coins for doing that. Okay. Uh, three of these stones come out here. Okay. And then I think it's time to put out my very first flag. Oh, okay. I think I'm going to build a mountain range. And the way I have to do that is by moving this character into the church spot. <laughs> 
And then this uh, mountain range right here, it cost one uh, stone from the quarries. Uh -huh. So I'm going to go ahead and just place it here. Nice. Okay, just that's the one like, that you don't need a road for. Don't need a road to score it. So then this is going to be uh, going into this section. Yep. And then it's, it's this building. guy is building that right there. Yeah. Okay, so I get uh, three points. Mm -hmm. uh, and then basically this says I get to plant a flag on it. And yep. then I get one point per connected uh, mountain segment. So mm -hmm. there's a small little mountain here and here. So this is going to score me an additional two points right now. And I mean, this this section here in the middle is going to be scored at the very end of the game. Right. So, okay, I'm going to go to sleep. It's back to you. Very good. All right. So I have three workers. Oh, no, I just built this. Mm. <laughs> I think I'm going to go here to the town hall. Okay. Because as much as I want to build my trade post, it's not the best shape mm. for, I mean, making lakes is pretty beneficial. And I could do something like that. But it's honestly not the best use of a boat mm. if I were to put a boat there. Yeah. So I think I, I think I will go there and I'm going to take this one for free because it gives me a coin. Yeah, for negative one. Yeah, it's a small woodland and it gives me one point per segment connected to forests. So... Very similar to your mountain range. Right. Uh, so we'll go ahead and move these down. Okay. We get another tile. The new one comes out. Oh, we, we have, have a barn. barn. So this is um, this is basically like the producers, except you can produce three of the materials of your choosing, and it gets you points instead of coins. Right. So there's that. So that's all for this villager. I'm going to use this one to uh, load up the wood okay. here, please. So, so I'm going to get coins to you. two coins. Okay. And then I think. I think I'm going to try to build this. <laughs> okay. This is a fun shape. I just don't really know where to put it. I'm going to move my villager here. And mm -hmm. I'm going to build this small woodland here. Okay. Because I think these are two segments. Because each tile is made up of one or two of the same length segments. Mm -hmm. So this is just twice the size of this. So I'm assuming this would score me three points. It will, yeah. Because these are all forest edges. Right. So I do have to spend one wood to construct this. Which means I'm taking this. Moving it here, my donkey pushes it there, and that's all I need. That's as far as it needs to get. There you go. And that's going to score me three points. One, two, three. Ooh, you're running away. I'm not running. I need to stop you. I place my flag there. Okay. Because that's that's actually my first landmark. That's the first one. Yep. Yeah. All right. That's me. That's back to you. All right. I think I can do something juicy. I think we can get this stonemason in there and make mm. a massive lake right now. Ooh. Okay. Bad. So let's go ahead and stand everybody up. One two, three. Mm -hmm. uh, the first thing I definitely need to do is I need to get myself some wheat. So I'm going to get two coins and then I'm going to repopulate the wheat. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Money. Yep. So we got one, two, three. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move a worker and I'll move this one that's in the church Where? onto the sawmill over here. Oh, I like it. This area. Yes. Okay. And so I'm going to build and I think I can build this one right here. This one requires two wheat and one wood. Mm -hmm. So I do have the donkey network one, two into this. The same thing. <laughs> one, two into this. We haven't had to move our donkeys. Though. No, which is, which good. is good. Yeah. yeah. So I think there's a way for me to do this just like oh, that. Oh, you can't do that. Um, oh, not like that. The so path. There was a way. Ah, oh, yes. It is actually like this. There oh, we yes. Okay. I so this is legal. Boo -boo. That is illegal. Uh, these are, this is actually still good for you because this will still score you a right. point for that side. Yeah, because a mountain and, is touching into this, which is good for me. Right. Uh, it's just a path. It cannot be adjacent to terrain. Mm -hmm. But here we have a mountain and a forest, which is legal, but you just can't build a path. You cannot build a path But there. because I'm making a lake, I may be able to put a boat in there. That's so, so I have good. have access to my own stone mill. Oh, my or gosh. Or my uh, stone mason. There you go. I'm, nev I'm never going to I'm never gonna go there. <laughs> That's like how what you did to me with the flour mill. Yeah, but this is a massive lake. <laughs> it is a massive lake. You're so let, need... let me pay the resources okay. needed. So it was, I believe, two wheat. Okay. Uh, and then one wood, which we said can so be consumed. They just have to go here, right? Exactly. So they just go here, donkey, donkey. donkey there, yeah. Very good. So that's going to get me four points. And now I produce only the highest of quality masonry. <laughs> so there we go. You're a mason. I'm a mason. Okay, so we get more tiles now. Okay, and then now we are going to create a massive lake. This okay. is our very first this is one. It's going to take us a minute. <laughs> Give me a second. All right, this is generally uh, the fit of Naveen's Lake. Yeah. <laughs> As a reminder, we are definitely playing with prototype components. Right. So this is not necessarily what the final product is going to look like. But either way, we have a large lake of one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Ten tiles, which means you are going to score five points. Five points. So this goes to 19. Wow. That was a big one for me. Look at you. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, say yes, I want to you know build. You know what? I think, I think this mm -hmm. is deep. So everything has to be touching an edge of a building oh, tile yes. to be considered like shallow water, I, made a I guess. a deep one. So this, this is all touching. Uh, these are all touching, They're right? All touching buildings, this but that not. one is not. So that means Naveen gets get to go fishing fish. automatically. You get three fish. So this is gonna get. I'm it's gonna a, place this here. I'm assuming this is a deep water one. Yeah, it's, it's a, a deep one. Darker. Yeah, it's a little darker. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so you don't have to put the fish on there. It's just understood yes. that I'm gonna get a triple fishing. Those those do not get fish on them, but everything else everything else will get fish. So all the tiles, three. except lots the dark of fishing one. to be had. This is gonna be. Uh, An epic fishing. Yeah, so. it's gonna be a lot of fishing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So then you get to immediately draw three. Three fish from tiles the bag. Yep. Because... Hopefully they are not all the same color. Well, I mean that would be two coins every turn for the next three turns. It would be. Either way, it's great. Uh, two green and one uh, blue. Okay. So um, I think I'm gonna turn in uh, the two green. Right. Uh, well, I can only do one, right? Right. So I'll turn in one. one green right okay. now for two so coins. Two coins. And then you can turn in the blue one. So the blue one says you gain one coin, or if you have two or more donkeys, you gain another donkey for free without using a worker. Okay, let's do it. I will do it. You're gonna let's get a donkey? Get, let's get a donkey. That's yeah. so nice. Let's get a free donkey. I don't have to spend an action doing it, nor do I have to spend coins doing it. Uh, now I have to figure out where I'm gonna put this donkey. Yeah, and by the way, we only put these tiles here just to remind ourselves that they've been spent <laughs> for right. the turn. That's not in the rules, but these actually just go back in the bag. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and just drop off this donkey over here. Maybe I can yeah. eat my way to your little flower. Mold. I think this is literally the only tile that really needs could it because this benefited. boat, this boat that I'm saying yes to. Uh, by oh yes, the way, build your boat. I would love to build a boat. So I'm just gonna put your boat right here. Yeah, you put your flag sense. next to it. So we're gonna go ahead and I think I can get it in. Yes. There we go. Yeah, because only only one person is going to have a boat in a lake because right. boats can only be built once when the lake is built. Right. So that's your lake, maybe. That's fine. So I'm going to go fishing. Uh, what's the most bang for my buck fishing? Can if you I, go to the stone. If I go stone. here, right? Because yeah. I have one, two, three. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and walk along the path, mm -hmm. take my boat across <laughs> to the stone mason, and we're going to go fishing broad, broad, broad edge. So yeah. we're going to fish for three, one, two, and three. They come off. And you get and three tiles get three, from the yeah. bag. But again, you cannot... I cannot spend... Are you sure you want to do this? You you cannot carry more than three tiles from turn to turn, and you've already spent a green and a blue. So you're counting on Okay, I, I see pink. what you're saying. So what I'll yeah. do, I'll do this. I'll go fishing, but not on this segment here. Okay. I'll go fishing here uh, and in the church two. and take two. Okay. There we that's, go. That's probably better. Yeah. Uh, unless you wanted to waste that side for me, but... Well, I can't you get can't there. get to there, so yeah. I can go there whenever the right. time is right. So you're really just taking the fish away from you, from you. I guess. Yeah, there we go. Okay, another blue and green. So I cannot spend them. I was looking <laughs> for pink, but I have them now going into the next turn. Wow, that's great. All right, everybody go to bed. There we go. <laughs> well, uh, I don't think I could do anything as spectacular as that. I mm. mean, I've been really wanting to build a big lake, but mm. I think I think you did that it there. So. All right, for my first action, I'm going to go... Uh, over here sawmill and i'm going to refine some wood okay so i do need to move this wood into there so one two, two. three it's in yep and it's going to go out so you don't make high quality no but you do make timber <laughs> thanks for the reminder it's okay <laughs> i'm not the carpenter but i can still refine wood oops yeah, timber <laughs> okay so there's that all right i lay down uh, I'm going to do the same for my my flour mill. So you're taking the boat. So I'm taking my boat right. across the lake, there you my go. tiny lake, not as nice as yours. Yeah. And I'll refine this one wheat. Nice. So boom, boom, boom. Boom across the boat. Yep. Yep. And then I do get a high quality, high quality. You are high time. quality. Oh. Ooh. Uh, and then I think maybe I'll go fishing. I only have three villagers, right? Yep. So I'm going to go over here and take the only fish that I can take, I guess, at the same time. Multiples. Multiples in yeah. one go, which is Why leave it for me when you can have it? Yeah, why leave it for yeah. you, for this guy? Yeah. So I get to I get to pull two fish from the bag. Two fish, good luck. I hope I pull the, the pink one. The pink one would be good, because you get to go a nice. second action. Yeah, all right. A green, green and a blue. And blue. Um, I guess I'll just one use fish, two fish, green fish, the green fish. one now. There it is. And gain two coins. Two coins. Because I don't know that I need to 
that I need to hold on to that one. Yeah, sure. The blue one I can hold on to just in case I need an emergency donkey. Mm -hmm. Or I can get a coin, but I can do that at a later time. Right. So that's me. That's Back everyone, to right? you. That's everybody. Okay. So let me help stand up your oh, thank you. people. Okay, the first thing I want to do is I want to turn in one of my uh, green fish for two coins, please. Mm hmm how many coins does that leave me with? Is that 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. Oh. All right, let's just do it. Let's build towards this church. I need to build towards it. It's worth six points. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and lay this one down there. There. I'm going to go ahead and put this into the church. <laughs> 10 coins. Building a piece That's of the what church. that needs to be right there. Uh, that's going to get me six points. All right. So you're going to go to 25? 25. And then... Which piece um, would you like to add? Oh, let's go ahead and put one of the uh, flanks. This one? Yeah. Okay. There we go. There we go. So I'm just going to rest it like that. I I think it might be on this side. Okay. I could be wrong. I, d I don't quite... <laughs> I could not quite remember, but My, uh, that's how I usually build the church. Yeah, it like looks that. pretty good. Okay. So we only have two more pieces uh, of the church left to build. Mm -hmm. And these are going to require combinations of the refined types of materials. They are. Which I think we only have three of the refineries out, right? Yeah, these three. So mm -hmm. we're missing one more, but you can always purchase uh, from the market. Right. Okay, with this worker here, I'm going to go back to the town hall. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm going to get myself a blueprint. And I'm just going to take the freebie, cheapy pond, the since pond? I have no money. Three points if connected by a bridge. Three points if connected by a bridge. So Just I'm going to go ahead and take that. This one's going to go to bed. And then... We need another tile. Ah, yes, another tile. Please. Good so we only have two more pieces left. All right. We ha Oh, we have a cow conservatory. Oh, this is the other refinery. Get some milk. So we can now make some milk. All, All right. right. Well, potentially get some milk in the future right we can't quite yet i mean i feel like we don't even need to put this out so Probably you could not. depending on how comfortable you are with this with your score you could end the game by delivering the last two pieces to the church because you can always just pay for that and money is more abundant uh with the fish it is um however i have none right now so <laughs> i will go ahead and uh, take that pond with this worker we're going to go ahead and come all the way across, and we're going to end up in my mountain range over here. Okay. And I'm going to build this one. So this one is the pond. It's mm -hmm. going to cost me two stone. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to get me two points for building this, and I'm just going to place it adjacent to this one right here. Mm. So That's there nice. you go. Perfect. Uh, so that lake is so good. So if you're trying to track where the, how the stone actually got there, free move into here. Mm -hmm. This donkey shuttled it into my boat, which then got it to this worker right here to actually do it. Right. Yeah. The lake is adjacent to all of these all tiles. All that stuff. Yeah. It does not count as a uh, path or a bridge for end game scoring though. Right. So if you, you cannot count it for longest road and no. stuff like that. But what is nice about this is another mountain to be attached to this one. Mm -hmm. It does get me another flag out. So that's mm -hmm. another way to potentially push end game. Mm -hmm. um, and then I also get uh, two points right here. Two points. Yeah. Now you will have to build a bridge in order for that Hope, to count. Yeah, hopefully I can I can get that to go. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that is that person, and now it's back to you. Well, it's back to me, and I still only have three villagers. We both do. Yeah. And I'm wondering if if it's even worth it to hire the it's fourth. It's worth nine, nine it's a lot coins. Of money. Which they you don't... could use to go spend at the market to go fulfill something else. Yeah, I feel like we're already kind of at the edge of the end of the game. Yeah. And I feel like if I were to waste my money, you you could be using your turns to be put to be scoring points, right? Yeah, I agree. So, all right, let me stand my villagers up. And I think I actually have enough money to deliver uh, to the church mm -hmm. because I You have refined... two of these resources and it requires three of them, right? Yeah. I have the, the timber and the flour, and I have enough money to purchase the third. So Which I might as well do it. require a worker. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to use my one villager. Go. I have to go to the church. Okay. And I can transport all of them, right? Because this one goes across my boat. Right. Um, one. That's one. And then this one. You have a donkey network. Moves one. Three. Donkey moves it over. Donkey, yep. And then five coins. And this is adjacent to the church. So, yeah, so. you're using the market's ability mm -hmm. that does not require an action from a worker mm -hmm. to spend five coins to get one of the resources required here. So, yes. you have one, two, plus that three right there. Three. Very good. So, I am going to, I'm going to score for the church. That's going to be four points. Okay. So, one, two, three, four. I also score because I'm consuming the timber that I made. So, it's right. one point and one coin. It's one coin, yeah. And then I'm also consuming the flour, but it's high quality, so times two. Two and two. So two points. <laughs> this is close. Gaining on me there. And two coins. Okay. 
And these go back to my supply. Yikes. That's it. So we only need to build one more piece of the church. One more piece. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm just gonna do the other side here. Okay, sounds good. Just make it symmetric. There you go. <laughs> okay. With my next villager, I think I'm going to go back to the town hall okay. and acquire a new tile. This one, <laughs> I need to put this out at some point, okay. but for some reason it wasn't really mm. working out in shape. So I think I'm going to take this because it's only one coin and it's it has an interesting shape and it gives you one point per coin. Oh yeah. Maxing. I feel like it's been easier to, to make money. Sure. So I'll go ahead and take this. Uh, that's that worker. We need one more tile, Yep. please. All right, we have the storeroom. storeroom. This is an expansion tile. So you can tell what the expansion tiles are because they have lake edges. Mm -hmm. And so this is a landmark that actually doesn't score you any points. Uh, whoever builds this can, for an action, move one resource that's on the board into your storeroom. And now that resource can only be consumed by you. So... <laughs> Uh, it's it's kind it's of a, a nice little personal supply, I guess. Mm -hmm. And with my last villager, since, oh my goodness, I didn't even consider the construction really, uh, requirements. Yeah, needed. I need flour, which needs grain. So oh. I'm just going to go here and refill. Can you produce yeah. the grain for me, please? So you get two coins. I get two coins for that. Which is what you want. You want yeah, but money. I needed, I needed uh -huh. additional actions. I guess I could have... Maybe you needed that extra work. I needed the pink fish. pink fish. Yeah, pink fish would be good for you. <laughs> the good hair day. Yeah. All right, that's me. All right, so uh, I'm going to start my turn off by picking everybody up mm -hmm. on your feet. Okay, so I'm going to spend this. Let's go ahead and get myself two coins. Two coins, yeah. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think I want to build some stuff. Okay. So I'm going to send this worker here to repopulate the wood. Mm -hmm. So can I have two coins, please? Yep. Two, One, oops. two three. Two coins. Okay, there you perfect. Go. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to build our very first road, a.k.a. bridge. So mm. we're going to build a bridge. So I am going to be building one here with this worker. Okay. They're going to construct this bridge here because this pawn says I get three points if connected by a bridge. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So this is going to go out onto here. And this is going to require me to spend wood, which is mm -hmm. what I just produced. Mm -hmm. So these two can definitely go through my donkey network to the boat into this. Mm -hmm. And so... Uh, we have a very first road. Nice. And that's going to score you a point at the end of the game. Yeah, it'll score me a point at the end of the game, and it makes this eligible to score now. Nice. So this worker worked. Mm -hmm. Okay, last action. I'm going to go ahead and send myself over here, mm -hmm. and I think I'm going to go ahead and consume this to make the high-quality um, timber. Over okay. There. So let's go ahead and get that back out there. So I put the white side up, mm -hmm. and that is me. Very good. Mm -hmm. All right. I was worried that you were going to <laughs> end the game already. No, I can't. So Not yet. It's back to me. And I would like to try to get my tavern out. I really want to build some sort of a, a road mm -hmm. <laughs> before the game ends. So I think I'm going to go to my flour mill good. and refine this. Okay. Right? Yep. So it goes in there. It goes out. The and white I side up. High quality uh, flour back. So okay. that was you. Okay, with my next villager, I'm going to produce some stone. Mm -hmm. So can you fill that for me, please? Sure. So three stone, you get two coins. Two coins. And then I'm going to go over here. I guess I have to go across <laughs> the way. Yep. Uh, to build my tavern. Yeah. So it's going to require the two stone, which I can move over yep. here through my boat. So there's that. As well as this. This, this refined it's gonna get you that two, two. material. Yeah, so uh, it'll get me two points and two coins. That's good. Two points and two coins. Okay, so this is a landmark, and I think I can just connect it by path. This is kind of a strange... <laughs> no, that doesn't work. So I think I have to do this. I don't know if this okay, is on I'll screen. I'll just move this out of the way. Yeah, it's still there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to do that so that it's connected. Now, uh, at the end of the game, this is not counting for a longest road for me yet because I have not built a path. And even though I have a boat here, these are not connected when thinking about that path. So mm -hmm. I'm definitely going to want to build a path there. But that, for now, was my last action. I also score, what is it, three points? Three points, yep. Okay. One, two, Ooh. three. And that's for building this tavern. Where's my... I need to put a flag. Little flag, yeah. There you go. How many flags do you have left? I have three. Three flags, okay. For three boats. Just like me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Back to you. Okay, the first action, uh, let's go ahead and stand everybody up. Mm-hmm. So the first action I'm going to do is I am going to fill this with wood once again. Okay. So can I have two coins, please? Yes. 
So there you go. Thanks. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then uh, let's go ahead. So this one did that. So let's go ahead and do exactly what I did, but now moving another bridge out that way. Oh, so okay. I'm going to go ahead and spend two wood mm -hmm. through the same channels. Mm -hmm. um, and then now we're going to put out another one of these here. Nice. So we're trying to build a long road. Yeah. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and let's go ahead and refill over here because I'd like to make some money. So oh, okay. get two coins, please. There you go. And then get So just the big go. refilling just, charge? Yeah, just get some cash. Refilling and making a bridge? Yep. Okay. That's me. Well, then it's back to me, and I'm going to do something quite similar to you. I'm going to build my first uh, path. Oh, shoot. So I'm building nice. one here, which is going to require the stone. I did this for you. You are so kind. So kind. Wait, what That's do I need? Up. I just need two stone, right? Nice, yeah. Two stone. So this goes out, and I'm going to build my my bridge there. I shouldn't have done that. So now I can, now this is all connected. Connected. Yeah. It's really only three tiles, but mm -hmm. I guess that's still good. Something. So that is one of my people here. And then I think I'd like to build this. Oh, it requires, oh wait, I have so much money. What's mm. this money for? <laughs> for your points at the end. Oh, that's right. This one, you want, eight, you want to hang on to eight coins. That's true. I do have nine. So I can spend one. Does that cost only one? They only cost one. Oh my gosh. This is this <laughs> my trade post costs one coin and one uh wheat. Oh. So I just have to try to figure out where I wanna put it. Like I could do You can totally do that. That. Yeah. I guess it depends. We don't have either resource because I would need to build I would need to build a road to connect that. I'll just do that. Yep. It keeps my options open because I could build either type of mm -hmm. of uh, road. And I have to move my person there to do that. Right. Um Oh, cost, wait. It costs you a coin Hold and Hold on, a... my donkey. I, I need to move my donkey. You know what? To keep things simple, <laughs> I'm going to go over here and just build, build it, it adjacent to this there you to go. this tile. It's fine. Now you have <laughs> legitimacy. Now I can, I can build it and it'll be fine. Mm -hmm. So it's going to cost uh, one coin, which one, I have one, here. And one wheat. And then one wheat, which I can definitely transport yep. over. And you so get two coins. There's that. I get two points. Or two points, sorry. One, two. Mm. Okay, so I did that. With my last villager, I think I will go back to Town Hall okay. and take this. Get a coin. Get a coin and potentially be able to put out Something this else. warehouse. I don't know. Okay, don't next know. thing is the shrine. The shrine. This is two points per church delivery. Ooh. I also forgot to put my, my flag on this trade post. There you go. All right. That's me. Back mm. to you. Mm. Okay, I think I'm going to end the game here because mm. I think there's a way to do it. Uh, I but this coming <laughs> for turns. I, I don't know how good I'm, I'm going to do it, but I don't think I can like snowball anything beyond what I can do here. So I'm going to take my chances. So okay. uh, I did notice that I did not grab something. Uh, it was this. I was supposed to get this for the first person to build out a bridge or a path. Oh, yeah. I get this. And so it makes all my bridges and paths extra points. So one more point. One yeah. more point. So that nice. seems like something good. Yeah. So I was supposed to get that when I first built uh, this one out earlier. Okay. So the very first action, uh, this this worker here is going to go ahead and fill this in. With, here, I'm going to stand up the other uh, two. Thank you, please. Mm -hmm. uh, these two. And then I'm going to get the much needed two coins and the much needed wood because this worker here is going to go ahead and build um, this bridge over here. So uh, I'm going to spend the two wood mm -hmm. via my channels, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to go ahead and get myself uh, another bridge right onto that segment. I think no, here, sorry, not right? there. It's right here. Yeah, thank mm -hmm. you. So now we have a nice long kind of segment going there. Uh, and then the last action I'm going to take is with uh, which worker? It's this one here. Mm -hmm. So they're going to go across the boat, back into the church, and then I think I'm going to satisfy this one right over here. All right, so I made a mistake. Uh, I'm not going to end it here. <laughs> I actually refined the wrong material several rounds ago. Uh, I was supposed to refine this. Instead, I refined that. <laughs> so that is, there's no way to, to, to remedy that for Can me. You so use it for anything? Um, no. Yeah, okay. Unfortunately not. So uh, my next action is I'm going to go to the town hall here. And I'm just going to go ahead and pick up this barn. Because if I can make it, it's worth four. And if I use it, it's worth an extra two. So mm. that'll be something. Yeah, that's yeah. not bad. All right, we need another tile. All right, we have a, oh, dockyard. Oh, this is an expansion tile. So the dockyard uh, is three points for each boat. it will be three points for one of us. Oh, that's right. You have a large lake, but but just the one boat. So right. plus that's pretty expensive. Mm -hmm. All right, so then back to me. It looks like I have two more turns. Um, I definitely need to build a bridge here. So 
I need to make some stone. So I'm gonna go ahead and move into the quarry and then can I have some stone, please? Yeah, two stone. I'm gonna take a four, five. Yeah. I forgot that we had these. Yep. <laughs> two, three. Okay. So that is this person. Uh, this villager is going to build the bridge. Since they are forest edges, that's gonna be these two stone. Mm -hmm. So there's that. And then I can connect this. So now I'm going to score this, the one point per market delivery. Uh, yeah, there you go. So that's that villager. Three. In order to build my warehouse, I'm going to need additional stone. Okay. So I might as well just, you know, we're at the end of the game. I might as well just go over here and refill that. There yeah. You go. I'll produce two more. Okay. And I'll take two gold. So I'll just take another five, give back three. Gotcha. Okay. All right, Naveed. <laughs> okay. Now for your, uh, maybe I can end your it here. Final <laughs> turn. Okay. So. Uh, <laughs> So, maybe, maybe, maybe. maybe. Yeah, if I don't make this boo boo here, okay. So uh, let's go ahead and pick up everyone. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make the refined uh, product that we need. So I'm going to go ahead and send this uh, this one over here. Okay. And then I do have the networks to send um, stone over onto this, and then I make high quality. Mm -hmm. Hook donkey, and then that's right. Your boat. Very there good. Go. Okay, so that's that one right there. Okay. So this worker is going to go to bed. Okay. Okay. And then now I'm going to send this one over here to the mm -hmm. church. And then we are going to deliver to try to satisfy this, uh, the final segment of the church. Okay. So I have the ability to move in uh, this kind of steel bar. And then I'm going <laughs> to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to spend 10 coins to go to the market because I have no other way to make the milk right now. So mm -hmm. I'm going to buy two milk. Oh, the refineries there. The refineries there, but it's going to cost way too much time and, and energy yeah. to do it. Right. So there we go. So I put that out. Mm -hmm. uh, this is going to go onto this, mm -hmm. and then I get four points, plus I get two and two for that. Yes. One, two, three, four. four. Two, points two points because of the high-quality metal bar. Yeah. <laughs> and two. <laughs> and two coins. Two coins. There are your coins. Okay. And then I still have one worker. So this... Wait, we got to complete the church. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. There you go. All right. Let's put this. Yeah, I think, I think it's, it's exactly. like this. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. The birds are, are hanging out with the birds. They're hanging out. <laughs> okay. So then uh, I am going to spend this fish to yeah. go to breeding to gain one coin. One coin. Okay. All right. And go. then I do get to finish out the round the, it's because it, this does not end immediately. Yes. It triggers the end of the game. So now we're going to finish out the round. Naveen was the first player, which means I get one more turn. Yeah. So I have one last action. I definitely want to put out this barn, which is going to cost me three coins. So where can I do this lucratively? Here. You can attach it. Yeah. If I attach it like this. So you would have to flip it around. Oh, you can't do that. I can't do that? No. I wonder if you could, you could do this. Because oh, yeah. you, the paths cannot be blocked off. Oh, yeah, that's right. It but, can be next to a lake, but it cannot which be. Which is great, because this pushes my longest road, and it's another mountain segment next oh, yeah. to this. It's perfect for you. So my longest road is technically one, two, three, four, five into yeah. here, and it's another mountain Good. range into that. Connected by a natural ah, path. <laughs> so that's going to cost me. So this, this person should have been over here. Okay. And then in order to do that, it, you have to spend three coins. Mm -hmm. We have the ability to go via the boat. Yeah. And, and there we go. Four points. You get four points. One, and that ends two, my game. Three, four. Ha ah, nice. <laughs> I did it. Really? In the end. Yes, I did it in the end. Whew. Okay. Well, Scared me. this is my final turn then for sure. Yep. 100%. So one, two, three. It's interesting. We never got our final, uh, our fourth villager. No. Usually you do, but I think we were kind of playing chicken. You know, if w the other person only has three, there's no We spent a lot of the money rush. on building the church. Yeah, that's yeah. true. So with my first villager, I'm going to move here via my path. Okay. And I'm going to build this. So in order for me to build this... Oh, I need that you iron need timber. bar. No, you need timber. You need my Oh, your timber. Product. Your timber. Wait. Okay. One, I have a donkey there. And my donkey can push to the boat. I need a donkey there. I have my blue fish. <laughs> my blue fish. It's going to save me. I can't believe I built that timber. Why? Because it's free for you. And I didn't use it. I didn't need it. <laughs> well, thank you. I needed you. metal. I'm going to place my donkey that I used from uh, the breeding card with my blue fish. Okay. I'm going to place them right there. Wonderful. So now I'm going to build this warehouse. So it cost me the timber. That we already discussed. I do get I points though for that, right? Get there. I get two points, two and two. You will. That's true. And I also need two stone. Like I said, we're uh, worth it. Through the boat and over here. So I built that, Naveen. You get two points and two coins. Two coins. Because you were the... My high quality -ness. Yeah, yeah, the high quality. Yep. And I get to build this. 
So it doesn't really matter at this point. I don't think I can construct the lake. It just has to be connected. Now, I really don't know if that's on screen. No, it is. Yeah, you're good. I'll just do that. There you go. There. Okay. And these will go. This goes back to you. Okay. These go out. Um, that's my one. And I think, uh, I, I don't know, maybe I'm not seeing something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Somebody is probably going to say, well, you could have done this with your last two workers. With my last two villagers, I'm just going to refill. Uh, Wood? I'm going to refill stone. Stone. Uh, so that's going to get me two coins. You got a lot of coins. And then I'm going to use the stone to build a bridge somewhere. Because that's still a point. Mm -hmm. I don't think it really matters where, right? So I guess I'll just bridge into your mountain range. Come on It's in. not going to do anything, okay. <laughs> really. But here we go. The two stone and a bridge. And that is it. Those are all of our workers. Ooh. That is the end of the, the game. End of yeah. The church is completely built. How many oh. flags did you have left? Uh, I had three left. I oh, might yeah. not have put one out properly, but hopefully I did. <laughs> I think I think all the landmarks have have flags, right? I think so. If we discover one in final scoring, it's like, oh yeah, I did yeah. that. Yeah. I only had one flag left, so we were close to the end of the game either way. Mm -hmm. All right, shall yeah. we uh, do final scoring? Yeah. All right. First things first, we are going to hand out the awards. So nobody nobody claimed the herder. Yeah, no, no milk. But we have four. Uh, awards here. Two of them have to do with building out the church, and they are these two. Uh, it looks like we both tied. Two and two. So yeah. we're going to add up both and divide it by two, which is going to be four points four each. Point each. So you go to 43, mm -hmm. and I go to 37. Yeah. Okay, so there we go. There's that. <laughs> the rest isn't going my way. We also have the landscaper, whoever has the most number of flag buildings, yeah. which I think is I have, me. I have two. Right? I have these three. Yeah. So, no, I have four. So that's going to be four points. So I go to 41. Uh oh. And the merchant, whoever has the most sales at the market, I have three. I have one, yeah. So another four points. Uh oh. So to 45. Now we're going to score our landmarks. So we'll just go through all uh, of the flags, basically. Mm -hmm. So how many do you have? Uh, I have two, I believe, these two. Okay. So this one is three points if connected by a bridge, which it is. It is. Yep. So one, two, three. Yep. And then this one, the mountain range, is one point per segment connected to mountains. No road required. I think it's five of them. I, which one is not? Uh, the lake. Oh, the this. Right. Yeah. Oh, I see. So one, two, three, four, five. Yep. So five points. So you're going to go to 51. One. Okay. So then going around the board, uh, this one is mine, and it's one point per segment connected to forest. No road required. So I think this is three segments, right? Yeah, three right? segments. Uh -huh. So one, two, three. Mm hmm um, next we have, I think they're this all one. just here in this area. Yeah. So this one is one point per market delivery and I sold three, three. Yep. one, two, uh -oh. three. Then <laughs> we have this one, the tavern, which is one point per coin, Big but uh -oh. maximum eight. And you can still score your coins again later. So I get eight, right? Yeah. So I go to nine and this is one point per bridge slash path. So I've built a total of three bridges. One, two, and three. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's going to be three points. three points. One, two, three. Yep. Okay. I think those are all the landmarks. That is, yep. Now we truly score the roads slash bridges. So I already had three. One, two, three. So basically score them again. You are going to score yours now, but two points each since you are the planner. Mm -hmm. So I get one, two, three. And then because I have this, it's four, five, six. So times two. So you're going to go to seven mm -hmm. there. Now we're going to score our longest roads. So... I think mine is here. Okay. It cannot go through the church tile, and you have to have at least one of your own uh, built paths. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, because of the, the printed one, five. Mm -hmm. So times two, because it's two points per tile. Ten. So it goes to 25. Yeah, and then mine is the exact same math. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five times two, so it's ten. Okay, so go to 17. 17. And finally, it's one point for every three Yeesh. gold. So I have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Another so five. five. So I go to 30. I'm, I'm, I'm at that gamer, uh-oh, where it's just, <laughs> yeah. we are shy by one to score something. <laughs> <laughs> gamer, oopsie. Yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, it's zero. <laughs> All right, that's it. That is the end of the game. Yeah. So final scores are uh, 67 to 80. 80. That's Not it. Bad. Pretty good. That yeah. is Hamlet, the village building game by yeah. the lake. That is, right? yeah. With the we, new we expansion. Two lakes. No, we had two full lakes in this yeah, one. Yeah, we did. We had the Great Lake and then a little pond. Yeah, this is a, an impressive lake. You mm -hmm. know, the both of us were not the most abstract of gamers. So 
We're not as creative when it comes to creating large openings. I felt like that was a pretty creative I'm, one. Yeah, I'm yeah. proud of you Thanks. for making that. You even had yeah. a deep tile. I did. Yeah, it's like, gosh, good job there. In previous plays, we had not come up with a deep tile. No. This is the first time we've. We were doing one. a bunch of these. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, there you go. So you had 80 to, uh, what was it again? 67? Yeah, to 67. Nice. As for the fish, we played with the spring cards, but of course there are also cards for each of the other seasons and they're going to do different things, such as in the summer you can gain one coin or after your next action, refill all adjacent mm. fishing spaces. So every game you're going to play with a different set of these. And we were not able to showcase every single new tile that comes with the expansion, but for more information regarding that, as well as any of the new additions, feel free to check out their Kickstarter, which is linked in the description below. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and we'll try to get back to you as soon as we can. Uh, thank you all so much for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more like this in the future, please consider subscribing. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.